Hi, this is Travis at the Steel Magnolia working on the McGregor 26 Classic installing a built-in permanent type fuel tank and we've got some still shots but just wanted you to take a look this is the cradle and that is uh, glued to the floor it is a 17 gallon tank in the back you can see the fuel fill tube going up to the top and out here on the deck that's the fuel fill part which is right in front of the motor well coming back inside let the camera adjust this is the vent line coming up for the for the tank and that vents into the motor well as well just to give you an idea of where it's at here's the here's the top here and there's the motor well um, it is secured on three sides plus it'll have a white strap over the top that'll be secure once everything is done this is the ground wire coming from the fuel fill uh, cap and this is the cockpit drain and what I've done is kind of hard plumbed most of it with some soft points in it and this is a loose joint here so this joint is not glued uh, and I use a fusion tape made by 3M and I just absolutely love this stuff you stretch it really tight it sticks to itself but it's not a sticky tape like electrical tape but uh, I've been using that stuff for years and just absolutely love it. This is a piece of flex tubing here, some of the original tubing that was in the boat, and that's just to help uh, keep from having a hard structure all the way. Uh, going all the way down, there's a T that's in there, and I just used a piece of the original line that was in good shape. That's the drain for the cockpit. Everything is secured and tight, and then that's going uh, through the hull, through the original fitting, and uh, everything is glued up tight there. Now what this piece will be here that you're seeing there, that's a cap that's on. This will come out and at some point here in the near future I'm going to be installing a, a bilge pump here in the lazarette. So I'll have a tube uh, uh, bilge hose that will come up to the top, circle, come back down and go to this. That way it will have an extremely high point here in the lazarette so I don't have to worry about uh, water back flowing in. But anyway, still got the uh, sending unit to put in and the fittings for the, uh, for the pickup tube, which is uh, just external to the tank. But uh, all is well. I'll be mounting a fuel gauge in here, probably here by the rudder shaft, so it's kind of protected from weather, but I'll still be able to see it with a momentary switch so that I can just turn it on and off when I want to check fuel. Anyway, here we are, fuel tank at the Steel Magnolia.